next comedian also has a long intro, but once again, if you got it flaunted, our next comedian is a veteran, really, I gotta just say, I've watched her real. This is a very funny actress. It's a veteran of TV, film, and stage, including Falcon Crest, Newhart, Arliss, Party Down, Hung, Castle, Star Trek, The Next Generation, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, shot the pilot for ABC's The Fix, a Hollywood survival is happy to be here, happy to be J Jill Jacobson, please welcome Jill Jacobson. so warm and fuzzy here. It makes me feel like a... <laughs> a cougar. <laughs> With an all-you-can-eat <laughs> borgishmord of beefcake. Okay, my definition of a beefcake. A beefcake is young, very, very young. Man, I'm sorry I keep looking at you. I'm sorry. I'll look over here for a second, okay? Very young men with a similar sex drive and hair growing out of their hair instead of their ears. Which I call zebras because cougars eat zebras. Rawr. I know there's one over there. There's a zebra over there. Too. Any eligible zebras? No, that's okay. I'm digesting. I actually have a new zebra boyfriend and he's got a job. He's my paper boy. <laughs> and you know, I was gonna get rid of the times. <laughs> he's got wheels and they're hot. <laughs> they're hot wheels. And not only does my paper come on time, but so do I. I just divorced a Jewish cantor. And for those of you non-Yids out there, a cantor, the definition of a Jewish cantor is you can't do this and you can't do that. He sang in Hebrew in the synagogue, but he wasn't a very religious man. In fact, he just did it for the money. He used to sneak pork chops in between the white sheet while he was flossing with his pants. And he loved ecstasy, oh man. But it had to be kosher ecstasy. Blessed by Rabbi Feel Goodman. <laughs> he particularly loved doing it on the eight nights of Hanukkah. <laughs> he said it was a religious experience. Anybody ever done ecstasy? It's very difficult to have an orgasm on it. Eight nights worth. <clears throat> it went something like this. My vag was so tapurum. So apparently the Jews do not uh, run Hollywood anymore. So I'm strictly dating Scientologists now. <laughs> you know, this Ash hashtag Me Too movement is making me a little lonely. You can't flirt anymore, if you know what I mean. So I started volunteering as a CPR dummy, you know. <laughs> just to kiss somebody. 
You can call me Rescue Annie. I had to freaking buy an elliptical machine. I used to burn so many calories just being chased around the offices. But you always knew you had the job when they came all over you. Am I right? <laughs> Everything is retro these days. Have you noticed? It's coming back. Beards, vinyl, polyester, bell bottoms. Love bell bottoms. The KKK is making a resurgence. You can now shoot all the beautiful endangered species cougars that you want. Oh, 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 oh. Coal, black lung, it's all coming back. It's amazing. Racism? Well, did that ever leave? I don't know. But where the heck are the quaaludes? Where are the quaaludes? And duels. Just imagine if there was a duel between Barack and, and Trump. <laughs> Who would your money be on? <laughs> Thank you very much. Seven weeks for that. My badge was Sortoporum. <laughs> <laughs>